name is Judy Godier, and I'd like to talk a little bit about my new book, Rainbow Quilts for Scrap Lovers, from CNT Publishing. This book is made with the quilts are all made completely from scraps, and they're emphasizing mostly the scraps that are in your stash that are odd shaped and don't lend themselves well to strip quilting. We all have those odd shaped scraps that are left over from making bags or making hats or making garments that don't lend themselves to strip quilting and you need to find a solution for them. And they're still beautiful fabrics. There's an entire chapter in the book that talk about uh, the kind of odd shaped scraps and the large scale prints and how difficult some of those fabrics can be to put into scrap quilts and how this system of 12 different quilts can be utilized to make beautiful scrap quilts from those difficult to work with scraps and fabrics. It follows on the heels of Quilts for Scrap Lovers, which has 16 quilts in it as well, also based on the same concept of using those odd shaped scraps, difficult to use patterns, difficult to use um, fabric designs, and how you can use those to make gorgeous scrap quilts. Every single quilt in the book uses only a three and a half, a four and a half, and a five and a half inch square. These templates are also created by CNT Publishing. They're a nice heavy acrylic, easily labeled, and they work extremely well because, like I said, many of these fabrics that you're going to be using are odd shaped. And so you're going to use these almost like you would a cookie cutter. So rather than cutting a fabric into strips, you can put this right down on that odd shaped piece and cut around it and get the result that you want. Also, if you have a fat quarter or something that you want to use and you want to take a five and a half inch square out of it, you're not dedicating that entire strip to being five and a half inches. You can take the five and a half inch lay it down, or the four and a half and the three and a half, lay it down on a piece section of that fabric and cut it. And then you've got the entire other piece in its entirety, the, the rest of the piece in its entirety. You're not dedicating the whole section of that to five and a half inches. So one of the quilts that I would like to talk about first is the one that's on the cover. And this one is called Packages, Boxes, and Bows. And it's kind of a variation on your old fashioned bow tie quilt. And the variation is the fact that there are boxes in between um, each of these bow tie sections. And so, hence the name, packages, boxes, and bows. So I'm going to show you a system for cutting that that's extremely easy. And it too has um, been used in the first book for many, as the basis of many, many of the quilts in the first book and then packages, boxes, and bows. So what you're going to need are three background pieces and you're going to need your three colored pieces. These are five and a half inch squares. So you can see that they can be all the same color but a different print, that works. Um, so you have three of them. Two of them are dedicated to cutting with the templates. So you have two lights and two colored pieces. So you're going to lay those in a stack and then you're going to take the three and a half inch square and you're going to set it in the corner and you're going to take your rotary cutter, have a nice sharp blade and you're going to cut across the top of the three and a half inch square and you're going to rock your rotary cutter forward just a little bit to finish that cut. Then you're going to take the five and a half inch and you're going to snug it right up against there and you're going to remove this and then you're going to cut. Now you've got a significant chunk of the cutting done. Now that involved two of the lights and two of the colored. Okay, So now you've got a light and a colored one left. So what you're going to do with that is you're going to place those right sides together and you're going to draw a line from corner to corner. On either side of that line you're going to stitch a quarter inch on both sides of the line. Then you take your ruler and your rotary cutter and you cut on that line. That will yield a half square triangle unit and a half square triangle unit. Two half square triangle units. And here they are. Okay, So you've got two of those. So 
we're going to go back to this. Now, I'm going to take these two white squares and I'm going to lay them with the half square triangle units because they're going to be used there. Then I'm going to remove these two colored rectangles that are underneath from my initial cut. These two colored that are left over from my initial cut. These that are left over will be used in another quilt in the book and that quilt is called Color Brick Road. So that's this quilt here. So don't despair about the fact that you're making more scraps with the scrap quilt. There's an answer to what you're going to do with those exact pieces in the book as well. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take those squares and you're going to stitch this together with this. You're going to use a quarter inch seam and stitch. And you're going to use a quarter inch seam and stitch here. Flip it out, press it, then you're going to put this piece on with a quarter inch seam. So you end up with this unit and this unit and they look like this. This and this. Now you can see that you've got a little tail hanging there. We're not going to worry about that little tail because we're going to take the four and a half inch template and we're going to square that up. So we're going to put the four and a half inch template on there and we're going to square it down. So we're going to square it down and we're going to square this one down. So now remember we had these two half square triangle units and we set aside the white squares that we cut with that initial template cut. So we're going to lay these on and draw a diagonal line across here. Draw a diagonal line across here. You're laying the light on top of the dark. When you do that, you're going to stitch directly on that line and flip it out. And that's how you get that stripe for the box. Okay, that's how you're getting the stripes for the boxes. So the way that you are going to achieve this stripe around the box is that you've sewn down the center of that square and flipped that out. So when you do that and you stitched on there, you have these left over that normally you would just trim off and throw away. Well, you're going to trim it off, but you're going to keep that little green corner underneath there. You're going to keep that little corner because that little corner then gets laid on the opposite side. So here's the white one that we sewed on to the green side and now there's that little corner. It's a different green fabric, but you get the point. It gets laid over here and pressed. Now you're going to take your four and a half inch template Lay it on there and look at these templates have these beautiful center lines drawn on them so that you don't know, you don't have to guess where the center is. They have these wonderful markings on the templates. And you're going to center it with this line corresponding to the line in your block and you're going to trim around. And when you trim around, trim around, and you join them all together, you get this. So here's your finished block. Now when you join four of these finished blocks all together, you end up with something that looks like this. Okay, so that is how easy it is to use up odd shaped scraps to make packages, boxes, and bows.